Okay, getting my screen set up. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. All right, Helga says yes. Hello, Helga. Lolly says yes. Thank you, Lolly. Sleepwalker says yes. Thank you, Sleepwalker. I see Samuel. Tetsuro says yes. Thank you, Tetsuro. Miley says yes. Hello, Miley. Bella's here. Hello, Bella. Saima says yes. Thank you, Saima. Usman says yes. Thank you, Usman. Bethy is here. Hello, Bethy. Sonia, hello. Okay, Mitra, hello. Marion, hello. Mitra says yes, thank you. Bethy says yes, thank you. Shams, hello. Adam, hello. Okay, great to see. Oh, Raj says hello. Hello, Raj, how are you? Dung, hello. I'm good, Usman, how about you? Samuel, hello, hello. Okay, well, it's great to see you, of course, because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you, everyone. Raja, hello. Okay, great, great, great. Well, you know what we do. Alice, hello, Alice. We always have a toast for good luck. We always start our class with the toast for good luck. So let's do that. Let's pick up what we are drinking. Maria, hello. Oh, I can't read Arabic. I'm sorry, but here you go. Hello. <laughs> Mary's here. Hello, Mary. Good to see Mary. Okay. We're having our toast. Actually, we're having two toasts. Our first toast is for the green team. You see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mmm. Hot coffee. <laughs> All right. Alex from Colombia. Hey, Alex, this is Colombian coffee right here. <laughs> Our second toast, it's for you because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump. Cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. It's great coffee, Alex. Colombian beans are the best. <laughs> okay, great. That was our toast. Now we will have good luck for sure. Now it's time to talk about today's lesson plan. Here it is. Oh, before we get into the lesson plan, I want to tell you about the chat. You must be a subscriber to enter the chat. I do that to keep the bots out, to keep the spamming out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. So if you want to chat with us, please subscribe to my channel and then you can get into the chat. And I do that to keep the spamming out, to keep the bots out, so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. And of course, by participating in the chat, by writing in the chat, you are helping yourself, right? And you're helping other people too, because they can see your sentence, they can see your example. That's how we learn, we learn by example. And in the chat, you will see vocabulary. You will see sentences. You will learn a lot from the chat. Yes, there are great people here in the chat. Yes, with us, we have a great group of people as always. All right, so that's the thing about the chat. Hans Maria from Brazil. Welcome, welcome, Maria. Garcia is here. Hello, Garcia. Okay, welcome, welcome, everyone. Now, here we go. Let's talk about today's 
class. <clears throat> We're doing one, two, three, four, five activities today. Our first activity, form a sentence. I will write a pattern on the board. Then you will write sentences based on that pattern. Our second activity, which one is different? It's a worksheet. You choose which one is different. And of course, tell us why. That's the important thing. <clears throat> express your idea, express your opinion, express your thoughts in English. That's the challenge, but that's why you are here. And all of our worksheets we use in our live stream class today and all our, in every class before and in the future, <clears throat> the worksheets are on my Patreon page. Support me on Patreon and you get all the worksheets we do in our live stream classes. Then after our which one is different, we're doing dictation cards. Here you are listening and writing. And then step two, you will listen and speak. And then step three, we will take turns. And then step four, there will be a quiz. That's dictation cards. <clears throat> after dictation cards, we're going to do Lolly's Revenge, which is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. And again, there will be four steps for that activity. There's, I will read the conversation. I will ask you questions about the conversation. We will read the conversation and then we will shadow the conversation. So lots of practice for you. Then our fifth activity <clears throat> is a video and worksheet. It's a review. We did it uh, last week. It's 10 very short conversations. There's a video and then we will do a worksheet and you will make sentences based on patterns in the video on the worksheet. Okay, great job. We're gonna be busy today as always. So let's get right into it. Nguyen, hello. Matsura's here, hello Matsura. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Suga's here, okay. I'm sorry, if I mispronounce your name, I'm very, very sorry. Um, some of your names are very difficult for me to pronounce, so I'm very sorry if I say your, wrong, your name incorrectly. If I mispronounce your name, if I say your name wrong, I'm very sorry. Okay, let's get into it. Mary's here. Marie, Marie's here. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. Form a sentence. Let's do it. Our first activity, form a sentence. And the sentence is, I was bitten by on my Okay, it's a little long today. <clears throat> I was bitten by, mm, on my, mm. So now you write sentences based on this pattern. So I'll give you an example. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Helga's got one. I was bitten, pinched by my dove on my thumb. <laughs> okay. Did it hurt, Helga? So, so maybe Helga, her dove kind of didn't really bite, but maybe pinched a little bit. Lolly says, I was bitten by my friend's dog on my leg. Ouch. Bella, I was bitten by my dog on my leg. See, Bella, on, on my leg. Marcos is here. Hey, Marcos, how are you today? Sonia, I was bitten by a cat or my cat on my finger. Okay, so we want to use like ah or my. So for example, I was bitten by a mosquito. Okay, so for example, I was bitten by a mosquito on my 
on my, let's say, on my neck. <laughs> okay, for example. So, or like I was bitten by my friend's dog. I was bitten by, okay, we could do that. I was bitten by my friend, by my friend's dog. And then on my arm, for example, or like on my leg. So this is your body part. So this is, in, it could be like an animal, it could be a reptile, like a snake. I was bitten by a snake on my foot or scorpion, yeah? Or it could be a uh, insect, like a mosquito or a bee or a centipede, something like that. Okay, Miley, I was bitten by a mosquito on my nose. That's happened to me, I know, like this, get like a red, yeah, that's embarrassing. Some red bump on your nose. That's happened to me. Oh, Aza, hello Aza, Aza is here, hello Aza. Marco says, I was bitten by a mosquito on my shoulder. I got one on my neck. <laughs> Sonia, I was bitten by a honeybee on my face. Or I was bitten by a vampire on my neck. Uh, Bethy, I was bitten by a snake on my hand. Oh boy. Sleepwalker, I was bitten by a little kitten on my finger. <laughs> Tetsuo, I was bitten by a mantis or a mantis, Man mantis, mantis, mantis on my little finger. Maybe like a praying mantis, right? Praying mantis. Those green, green bugs. Praying mantis. Raj, I was bitten by a mosquito on my face. I know that happens to me too. In summer, here in Japan, in summer, there are many mosquitoes. I guess anywhere, like you go into the mountains, right? Where there's lakes and, and, and rivers. If there's water, there's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes live by the water. Okay, Umek. Oh, I was bitten by a spider on my finger. Marin, I was bitten by a bee. So we want a. Uh. We need we need a. Uh. Because it's a noun, right? It's a noun. So before the noun, we need the a. Uh. A uh, mosquito. Mosquito is a noun. Ha ha ha. Lolly says, I was bitten by my little brother on my hand. Oh no, sleepwalker, I was bitten by a zombie on my arm in my dream. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Shams, I was bitten by a cat on my leg. Good, Shams, we just need a, a, a cat, a cat. Timothy, hello, how are you, Timothy? Welcome, Timothy. We are doing this sentence here. We're doing this pattern here. So you are bitten by something. And, and this is passive or um, yeah, passive voice. And we use the past participle, bitten. Yeah. And so we're making a passive sentence, passive voice. And to, to make the passive voice, we use the past participle. So, so bitten. And I was bitten by. So the action came onto you, right? So the subject is, is I. And then um, the action is being done to the subject. The action is being done to the subject, right? So the mosquito came to me and 
the mosquito did the action. So we're using bitten because we're, the action happened to us. We were bitten by something. Okay, Marion, uh, we need uh, so everyone don't forget because mosquito, snake, cat, dog, those are nouns. So we need a, uh, a dog. I was bitten by a dog. I was bitten by a snake. I was bitten by a turtle, right? Snapping turtle. Some turtles bite, right? I was bitten by a bee. I was bitten by a spider. I was bitten by a cockroach. I was bitten by a tarantula. I was bitten by a centipede. I was bitten by a... Oh, there's like horse flies. You know a horse fly? They're, they're like biting flies, horse flies. I was bitten by a horse fly. Okay, good, good. Oh, no, Lolly, I was bitten by diamond lolly's cat mary says i was bitten by my cat on my face this morning she was a bad she was in a bad mood <laughs> ah don't want you don't want cats to bite umesh my sister was bitten by many scorpions on her body everywhere uh oh oh Yes, Helga says, somebody was bitten by a vampire on their neck, okay? Because, oh, so on their neck. Somebody was bitten by a vampire on their neck. Yeah, somebody there, okay, Helga? Matsura, I was bitten by a turkey on my leg when I was um, feeding, when I was feeding it. Okay, Matsura? I was bitten on the leg. I was bitten by a turkey on my leg when I was feeding it. When I was feeding it. My leg. I was bitten by a little mouse on my neck. It's true. It's true. <laughs> okay. Hey, Cecilia. Hello, Cecilia. Good to see you, Cecilia. Oh, Sleepwalker. Good idea. Sleepwalker says, Let's bring garlic because of the vampires, right? Because if you want to, um, if you want the, if you want to keep vampires away, you need garlic. Garlic will keep vampires away. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> Lolly, no, Mark, I never was bitten by diamond. Very good. I was never bitten by diamond. That's a, maybe scratch, right? Cats will scratch, but usually they don't bite. They usually scratch. So I was scratched by diamond. I was scratched by peanut on my arm. Okay, let's, good job, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. We're very, very busy today. We will go, we will do this again tomorrow. We always review because we want to remember. We don't want to forget when we're learning something new it's important to to review to do it many times so we don't forget right that's the problem about learning another language is forgetting so that's why we we don't do it just once we do it again and again and again and again for practice so we remember okay let's do number two number two which one is different which one is different Oh, here's a book right here. Which one is different? Wow. It's a coincidence. <laughs> Which one is different? Right here. Here's the title. Which one is different? And I'll give you the example I always do. And our topic is sports. So the vocabulary will be about sports. So I always give this example, which one is different? Here we go, here's an example. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, 
bicycle is different because it is transportation. A bicycle is different because it can go fast. A bicycle is different because I have one. A bicycle is different because I take one to my job. <laughs> a bicycle is different because it has handlebars. A bicycle is different because it has two tires. So there are no wrong answers. It's your imagination. Communication is expressing your idea, your ideas, your thoughts, so your opinions. So that's what this activity does. It helps you to um, express your ideas. It helps you to express your thoughts. It, express, it helps you to express your ideas to communicate in English, right? So let's do it. <laughs> right here is the worksheet and you can get my worksheet on my Patreon page. Support me on my Patreon and get all the worksheets we do here in our live stream classes. There's a link for it in the descriptions. So today's topic sports, we have two sets of, of keywords. Set one, set two. And then in the chat, you will make sentences based on these vocabulary items. Choose one that is different from the others and tell us why, okay? Let's do it. I will put the worksheet on the screen so you can see it and we can do it together. Okay, Roberto, hello, Roberto. Mwah. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Timothy, I was bitten by a mosquito on my forehead. Yes, that happens. <laughs> in the summer, I'm always getting, I'm in the summer, in the summer, I'm always getting bitten by mosquitoes. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at the worksheet. Here it is, right there. Okay, you write sentences in the chat. You have to express your idea. You have to express your, your um, opinion. Okay, so today is series 59. It's sports, group one key words, tennis, baseball, badminton, basketball. Which one is different and why? So you can see the directions. Choose one item and then write the reason why it doesn't belong with the others. Group two key words, ice hockey, trophy, or sorry, a trophy, archery, boxing gloves. Which one is different and why? Here we go, one more time. Group one key words, tennis, baseball, badminton, basketball. Which one is different and why? Group two key words, ice hockey, a trophy, archery, Bar uh, blah, blah, blah. Boxing gloves, which one is different and why? Sleepwalker, badminton is different because shuttlecock is not round. Good. So you could say a shuttlecock. A shuttlecock is not round. That's a good sentence. Lolly, badminton, because you don't use a ball or balloon. Miley, Basketball is different because it is played in teams. Aza, I think archery because it's so much fun. Good, good, Aza. Sleepwalker, basketball is different because the ball is heavy. See, there's, there are no wrong answers. You guys are giving great, great sentences, your great ideas, very imaginative, very creative. I like it. Basketball because it's big. Lolly, tennis because there is no A in it. Let's check it out. Baseball has an A. Badminton has an A. Basketball has an A, but tennis has no A. Tetsuro, I think tennis because it has four major world championships. Good, good, good. Yeah, so the um, so the four world championships. Let's see if I can if I can um, name them. The U.S. Open, Wimbledon, the French Open, 
and the Australian Open. Yay, I did it. Those are the four world championships. I did it. The US Open, Wimbledon, the French Open, and the Australian Open. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I like tennis. I enjoy tennis. Bella, badminton, because I don't know the sport or I don't know that sport. Marion, I think badminton because it is not played with a ball. Matsura, I think basketball because it's made of wood. Uh, you, what's made of wood? So the ball is not wood. So Matsura, one more time. What, what is made of wood? Sleepwalker, basketball is different because a ball touches the ground. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Helga, I think basketball is different because you need only a ball and baskets. Good. Marcos, basketball is different because the weight of the ball. Very good. Tetsuro, I think baseball because it needs gloves and bats. Yes. Umesh, tennis because the ball is somewhat soft. Good. Everyone's thinking hard. Everyone's expressing their idea. Great. You can see all these great sentences, all this vocabulary, everyone. Sonia, I think tennis is different because we can play with our friends on the table and it's also an outdoor activity. Nice, Sonia. Sleepwalk or basketball is different because you need to have only a ball to play it. Helga, I think tennis is different because it is expensive to play it. Okay, Mary or Mari, Mari, Mari. I think basketball because it doesn't something. Mari, one more time. Basketball doesn't. What's the something? So I don't understand something. So what is the something? Lolly, badminton, because only people can play with it. Oh, like, like dogs can play with a tennis ball and a baseball. Is that what you mean? Timothy, I think basketball is different because it uses Oh, bare hands. We use our bare hands. Good. Yeah. We're not using a racket or a bat. We're using our hand. Timothy, I like it. Very good. Roberto, I think tennis is different because it doesn't start with B. Yeah. B Baseball starts with B. Badminton starts with B. Basketball starts with B. But not tennis. Roberto. Nice, you're getting this game. You understand the game. Tetsuo, I think badminton because it needs shuttlecocks. Matsura, I think basketball because it's played in groups or in teams. Sleepwalker, a trophy is different because you get it after a game. Sonia, okay, no problem, Sonia. Helga, I think. Uh, baseball is different because it's the most popular game in America. Nice, Helga. Umesh, Batman, because you win a set when you reach 21 points. Yes. Sonia, I think basketball because we can play in teams. Cecilia, I think baseball because it uses, uh, it, you strike the goal. Um, okay, I'm not sure, Cecilia, about that. Archery is different because you can play darts at home. Lolly, baseball because it's an American typical game or sport. Corey, good evening. <laughs> Samuel, I think badminton is different because we can play it wherever we want. Tetsuo, I think basketball because it's it, it's uh, fame. Oh, our okay, Tetsuo. I think basketball because Michael Jordan is 
a famous basketball player because Michael Jordan is a famous basketball player. Helga, I think badminton is different because anyone can play it. I'm good, Corey. How are you? Miley, baseball is different because the players dress like <laughs> extraterrestrials and appear to be real hunks. Ah, oh, she likes, Miley likes the tennis players. <laughs> did you like, what did you think of, um, oh, the, the, the Swedish player? Um, he was a hunk, right? What, what's his name? He played McEnroe, famous him and McEnroe. John McEnroe had um, famous matches against each other. Boris, Boris, not Boris Johnson. No, a Swedish player. I forgot his name. He's a Swedish player, blonde hair, long blonde hair. What's his name again? I forgot. Boris Becker, he was a, a, a German tennis player. And then John McEnroe, American tennis player. And then the Swedish tennis player. Beyond board, that's it. Thank you, Marcos. Beyond board. I think, I, I bet Miley thinks he's a hunk. <laughs> okay, great. You know, I'm looking at the clock. We, let's, let's change activities. I'm, we got to change. Time, time. We'll do it again, of course. We always review. We'll review this again. Miley, do you like Bjorn Borg? <laughs> he was very quiet. Where, like, John McEnroe, he, like, he, he threw his racket. He yelled at the umpires. He got very angry. Um, John McEnroe is very, uh, what's the word? Um, extroverted right he's an extrovert where beyond borg he was an introvert quiet a little shy never spoke very different personalities between between macro and borg but that made great tv made made great matches right because they were so different from each other but they're both great players fabulous players both of them Okay, Ella, hello Ella, how are you today? Okay, good, we're gonna do this again, of course, we're gonna review, but I'm looking at the clock, we gotta change activities, I'm sorry. Okay, it's time for activity number three. And if, again, of course, um, join my Patreon and you get all the worksheets. The worksheet is there on my Patreon, um, do that. Join my Patreon, support me so I can support you and you get all the worksheets. Marcos, crazy macro, frozen Borg. Yeah, very different personalities between those two. <laughs> but great, great TV, right? Great, great uh, viewing experience. Okay. Uh, Panetta. Panetta, what what year did he play? Was was he playing? Um, was he during the time of Macaron and Borg? Miley. Okay, dictation cards, everyone. Dictation cards. You need a pencil. It's dictation time. Pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. So we have dictation cards right now. So number three is dictation practice. <clears throat> and the topic is not, not. And we're going to use not with, with um, adjectives, verbs. Oops, oops. Okay, so <clears throat> dictation, yeah. And we're, our topic is not. 
That's our topic, not. And we're going to use not with verbs, with adjectives, and adverbs. And we're going to have four steps. Step one is dictation. <clears throat> and I will go fast and slow. Step two will be um, shadowing. That is speaking, speaking practice. Our third step will um, we'll take turns. I will say the sentence, then you will say the sentence. We will take turns. And then our fourth step is a quiz. Okay, so I will go fast and, and then I will go slow. So don't worry if it's too fast because I will do it again slower. Okay, so the first time fast, that's the challenge. That's right, that's your challenge. Then the second time I will go slower then you can check your sentence. You can check to see if you uh, are missing any words, if you made any mistakes, because I will go slowly. Okay, so you need paper and pencil. Paper and pencil. And our topic again, not. And we're going to use not with verbs. We're going to use not with adjectives. And we're going to use not with adverbs, okay? All right, we have eight cards. Lolly has her paper and pencil. Fantastic. Seven, four, one, three is in the house. We are doing dictation practice. You need a pencil and paper. Seven, four, one, three. Oh, Miley. Okay, have, take a good, <laughs> have a good day. <clears throat> bye bye, Miley. Okay, Tetsuo keyboard. His keyboard is ready. Uh, you're welcome, Miley. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, 7413 is ready. Matsa is ready. Sylvia, hello. We're doing dictation now. You need a pencil and paper. You will listen and write down the sentences word for word. I'm going to say the sentence and you're going to write the sentence. You're going to listen and write. So you're listening and writing at the same time. There are eight cards. You will not see the sentence. You will not see the picture. You will purely just listen and write. It's a challenge, but that's why you're here. I'm going to go fast, but don't worry. I will then go slowly, okay? So first is fast, and then we will go slow. Okay, here we go. Countdown. We're going now. Here I go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. Okay, card number two, second sentence. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Okay, card number three. <clears throat> The weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. Okay, card number four. <clears throat> we will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. Hey, 
Hey, crazy keyboard. Explore BG. Hello. Oh, no, I dropped the card. Hold on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Card number five. <clears throat> she does not speak French. She does not speak French. She does not speak French. Okay, number six. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time. Okay, that's better. I like that name better. Explore BG. That's a better name. Number seven. <clears throat> he does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. Okay, good, good. Okay, that was fast. That was fast. Now we will go slow, okay? I'm going to say the sentences again three times slowly. Here you can check your sentences to see if you made any mistakes. If you missed any words, this is the time for you to check. I will go slow. Okay, here we go. Card number one, slowly. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. Card number two. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Card number three. <clears throat> the weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. Okay, card number four. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. Card number five. She does not speak French. She does not speak French. She does not speak French. Number six. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time. Number seven. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. He does not 
always arrive on time. Okay, here we go. Number eight, last card. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. Okay, that was dictation. I I said the sentence and you wrote down the sentence. Yeah, so you were listening and writing. Now it's shadowing time. And then we'll also talk about the meaning. So now it is speaking time. So I will again say each sentence three times. We will say the sentence together. Like the dictation, you are listening and writing, but this time you are listening and speaking. Input, output, input, output. And after we say each sentence three times, I will show you the card. You will see the sentence. You will see the picture and we will talk about the meaning. Okay, here we go. Let's do it, shall we? <laughs> Countdown to shadowing, speaking practice. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. Okay, here's the sentence. He did not drive carefully. Okay, so we're using not for with, with an um, adverb, right? How did he drive? Not carefully. He did not drive carefully. So we're using it with a adverb. Carefully is an adverb. How did he drive? He drove carelessly. Okay, here we go. Card number two. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Okay, we're using uh, not with an adjective. Hungry is an adjective. I am not hungry. Here we go. Card number three. The weather is not hot today. 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 So we're using um, not with an adjective, right? Adjectives describe things and so it's describing the weather. It's not hot. The weather is not hot today. Card number four. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. 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 Now we're using not with a verb. So attend, that's a verb, not attend. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. Okay, here we go. She does not speak French. 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 Okay, speak is a verb, so we're using not with a verb. She does not speak French. I know somebody who can speak French. I know somebody who can speak French. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next card is number six. They did not finish the project on time. 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 They did not
the project on time. <laughs> they did not finish the project on time. Finish is a verb. We're using not with a verb. They did not finish the project on time. Here we go. Number seven. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. Number seven here. He does not always arrive on time. We're using not with an adverb, always. So describing arrive, a verb, right? So an adverb describes a verb. He does not always arrive on time. Okay, here we go. Number eight, our last card. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. Okay, and happy is an adjective, so we're using not with an adjective. He is not happy with his grades. No, he got bad grades, so he is not happy. <laughs> okay, good. That was shadowing. That was speaking practice. Let's check it off. Now it's time to take turns. I will say the sentence, then you will say the sentence. But when it's your turn, I will cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence based on the picture. So look at the picture and that will remind you what the sentence is. Okay, the picture will give you the context. It will give you the cue. It will give you like the trigger for the sentence, okay? When I say the sentence, we will see the sentence. When it's your turn, I'm gonna cover it, okay? So when I'm speaking, you are listening, and when you are speaking, I am listening, okay? So here we go, I'm first. It's time to take turns, so please listen to me. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. He did not drive Carefully. Now it's your turn. Say the sentence. He did not drive carefully. He did not drive carefully. Okay, card number two. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. I am not hungry. Okay, third card, number three. The weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. The weather is not hot today. Okay, here we go. Next card, number four. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. We will not attend the meeting tomorrow. Okay, number five. She does not speak French. She does not speak French. She does not speak French. Okay, number six. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time.
they did not finish the project on time. Okay, number seven. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. Okay, number eight, last card. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. He is not happy with his grades. Okay, we took turns. Now it's time for the quiz. All right, so now the quiz, I will shuffle the cards and then I will choose three cards, the top three. I will cover the sentence. You have to write the sentence in the chat. Look at the picture, write the sentence. So you're gonna, the, you're gonna look at the picture and the picture is gonna tell you it's going to help you remember the sentence, right? You're going to look at the picture and the picture will help you remember the sentence. Yeah, so Mary, you can say marks or grades. Yeah, so in American English, we use grades. Okay, thank you, Lolly. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to choose three. I'm going to choose the, the top three cards. I'm going to cover the sentence, and then you write the sentence in the chat. Here we go. <clears throat> Number one in the quiz. Here we go. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. You're welcome, Mary. Okay, Sleepwalker is on the board. I see her sentence. I see Helga's sentence. Tetsuro's sentence. Bella, Aza, Lali, Mari, Bethy, Sonia, Maitra, Mary, Alice, Marion, Matsura. Okay, good. Everyone's busy typing away. Everyone's like on their keyboard, da -da -da -da, on their keyboard, writing sentences in English. Well done. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. Let's have a look at the sentence. Timothy did it. Here we go. <clears throat> he is not happy with his grades. Well done, everyone. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. Good job. Okay, here we go, card number two. Do you remember the sentence? Here we go. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker wrote the sentence. Marion, Bethy, Lolly, Tetsuro, Aza, Alice, Helga, Timothy, Sonia, Mary, Cecilia, Bella, Samuel, 7413, <laughs> Mitra. Okay, here we go. Have a look. Matsuda. Here we go. And the sentence is Mari. They did not finish the project on time. They did not finish the project on time. Good, Sonia. Okay, here we go. Card number three. This is the last one for the quiz. 
Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Here we go. Number three. Number three. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember? Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, sleepwalkers on the board. Helga, Bethy, Lolly, Tetro, Aza, Bella. Sleepwalker, 7413, Mary, Cecilia, Sonia, Samuel, Mitra, Alice. Marion, <laughs> Timothy, Matsura. Okay, here we go. And the sentence is, He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. He does not always arrive on time. <laughs> okay, very good. That was the quiz. Yes, and that was dictation cards. Four steps for your success. Woohoo! Four steps for your success. Four steps for your success. <laughs> okay, well, we're moving right along. We're doing good. We still have two more activities we're doing good we're, we're I'm t we're timing this fabulously it we're doing good on time okay number four number four what's that what's activity number four what's that I forgot what is activity number four I forgot <laughs> what could it be what could it be <laughs> What, what in the world could it be? What could number four be? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Very good. Yes, you know. Of course. Yes, you got it. It's Lolly's Revenge. We got four steps. Step one, the conversation. Step two, questions and answers. Step three, reading. Step four, shadowing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Lolly's Revenge. That's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. Please say hello to Joe. Please say hello to Sue. I will read the conversation three times. Then I will ask you questions. You're going to answer the question. So listen carefully because I will ask you questions about the conversation. Then we will read the conversation together. I will put it on the book on the screen so you can see it. We will read it together and then we will shadow it. We will be Joe. We, we will be Sue. We will role play the conversation. Okay, great. Ah. Uh, Asel, thank you. Asel, kind, kind, kind. <laughs> oh, Asel says, hello, chat. Hello, Asel. Okay, here we go. It's time for Lolly's Revenge. I'm going to read the conversation three times. Please listen carefully because I will then ask you questions about the conversation. Here we go count down five four three two one 
Joe is first. I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, here we go. Second time. I will read it for the second time. Here we go. Joe is first. I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, Lolly, no problem. Here we go. This is the third time. I'm going to read it slower. I, I will read it slowly. The third time, slowly. Here we go. Third time. I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, that was the reading. One one, hello, Adi. One one, Adi, hello. Okay, the conversation. We did it three times. Let's check it off. Now it's time for questions and answers. I will ask you questions about the conversation and you will answer those questions. Okay, here we go. Question number one. What's wrong with Joe? What's wrong with Joe? What's wrong with Joe? Question number one, what is wrong with Joe? There you go, Aza. Question number one, what is wrong with Joe? Yes, Lolly. Yeah, Tetsuro. Yes, Helga. That's right, Sleepwalker. Yeah, Wan Wan, good. Yes, Bella. There you go, Bethy, good. Yes, Mary. Yes, Timothy. Yes, Alice. Yes, Samuel. Yes, 7413. 
Marcos, yes. Yes, Matsura. MD, hello. Yeah, very good, everyone. So what's wrong with Joe? Joe is not happy with the new refrigerator. That's right. He's not happy with the new refrigerator. Okay, Qu question number two. Question number two. What did Sue say the good points were? What did Sue say the good points were? What did Sue say the good points were? So the good points about the refrigerator. What did she say were the good points about the refrigerator? MD, welcome, welcome. We're um, doing a conversation between Joe and Sue. I read the conversation and now I am asking questions about the conversation. If you didn't hear the conversation, that's okay because next we're going to read the conversation. So right now we're doing the questions and answers. Then after that, we're going to read it. So you're going to see the conversation. So don't worry, hang, wait. And then after we finish, with the questions and answers, we are going to read the conversation. You will see it, okay? Okay, so question number two. What did Sue say the good points were? Okay, there we go, Sleepwalker. The new fridge has a lot of space inside. Yeah, Tetsuo, the refrigerator has plenty of space. Yes, Bella, she can see fine when the door when she opens the door, yes, one well, one. So she's satisfied with because plenty of space, one well, one. Inside the refrigerator has plenty of space. Yes, Helga. So Samuel, that's why Joe is upset. So number two, that's not number two, Samuel. Number one, Joe's upset because the salesperson did not, did not act kindly. But question number two, what did Sue say the good points were about the refrigerator? So what were the good points about the refrigerator? Yes, Lolly says, uh, she can see fine when she opens the door. Mary, the good point is the refrigerator, the fridge has plenty of space. The good point is the fridge has plenty of space. Good, good. Sue is satisfied with the fridge. Yes, Alice. Sue is satisfied with the space or with the fridge. I'm sorry. Sue is satisfied with the fridge. MD, okay, um, Bengali. Marcos, Sue can see fine when she opens the door and it has plenty of space. It has. So good, Marcos. The refrig, uh, so Marcos, Sue can see fine when she opens the door and it has plenty of space. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Question number three. What did Joe say the bad points were? What did Joe say the bad points were? Now, the bad points. What did Joe say were the bad points? Okay, good, Aza. Yes, Sleepwalker. Good, good, good. Yes, Lolly. Yes, good. Yeah. Yes, 7413. Okay, good. Yeah, so, so Joe, when he opens the refrigerator, the light is not strong enough. So maybe he can't see 
in the back of the refrigerator. Yeah, Juan Juan. Yeah, so the salesperson was unkind and inside light is not strong enough. Okay, very good everyone. No problem. And number four, here we go. Last question, question number four. Will they be able to return the fridge? So it's not, we don't know the answer. It's your idea. What do you think? Will they be able to return the fridge? Will they be able to return the fridge? Yes, Mary. Okay, Aza, I'm not sure if, if they can return it. So what do you think? So this is, this is your idea. So I want you to express your opinion. I want you to use your idea, your opinion. What do you think? Sleepwalker, it depends on the store. They can try. <laughs> That's right, it can't hurt to try. So give it a try, it can't hurt, right? Helga, uh, yes, they will be able to return the fridge. Okay, Aza, good. Ah, Bella, interesting. Bella says, no, with that unfriendly salesperson. Bella, nice. Yes, Tetsuro. Samuel says, no, he won't be able to take it back. <laughs> Lolly, I think Joe is in bad faith with poor excuses. Nice. See, you guys have, I like your, your ideas. I like your opinions. Interesting. That, that's good. That's good. I like to see your interesting ideas. What you're doing is you're inferring, right? So I, you listen to the conversation and now you're like inferring, you're, you're thinking like you're, you're, you understand Joe, you understand Sue, so now you can give your opinion, right? So you listen carefully, you, you can understand what Joe said, you can understand what Sue said, so now you can give your opinion. You can give your thought. You can give your idea. Yeah? Well done. Samuel, no, he won't be able to take it back. Mary, I think they can return the fridge because they haven't used it yet. Tetsuro, they will not take it back because Joe will not act kindly. Marcos, surely they do, but they will, they will be, oh, okay, it will be a hard negotiation. Okay, Marcos, surely they will, but it will be a hard negotiation. Surely they will, but it will be a hard negotiation. Okay, MD, no, he won't be able to take it back. Sonia, no, they won't be able to return the fridge because they will, they, they can't get a refund. They, Sonia, okay, how about Sonia? They will not be able to return the fridge because they will not get a refund. They will not get a refund. Marion, Joe, Joe is determined to return the refrigerator. Sue is not sure it can be returned. It depends on the store's policy. Good, Marion. Alice, Joe wants to return the fridge, but Sue said it doesn't... Okay, Alice. Joe wants to return the fridge, but Sue is not sure they can. Sue is not sure they can. Sue is not sure they can. Okay, Helga, it depends on the terms. 
but they can return what they have bought if they don't like it anyway. Sleepwalker. Maybe they can adjust the light inside. <laughs> Tetsuo. Maybe the salesperson is unkind as Joe. Aza. I think they will refund after checking after checking if they can or not. I think it's possible to get a refund, says Aza. Sonia, they will not get the refund. Timothy, Joe is also responsible for not checking in advance. Very good, Timothy. Mwah. Joe is responsible for not checking in advance, not checking the light in advance. Right, good, Timothy. Okay, let's read it now. So I'm going to put the, oh, 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 we did the, the questions and answers. So let's check it off. Now it's time to read the conversation. So I will put it on the, I'll put it on the screen so you can see. And let's, oh, no, that's, that's the wrong one. Here it is. Okay, let's read it together. Here we go. Let's read it together. Okay, Joe is first. I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do it again. We always do it three times. Yes, three times. Joe says, I am not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, well, one more time. <laughs> uh, I like your answers today. Okay, here we go. Joe, I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Everyone... Everyone has their own ideas. I like it. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So we read it three times. Okay, let's shadow now. So we are going to say the sentence together. All right. So say it with me at the same time. We will say each sentence three times. We will be Joe. We will be Sue. Are you ready to shadow with me? Yes? Okay. Let's do it. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> I'm not happy with the new fridge. I'm not happy with the new fridge. I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? The salesperson did not act kindly. The salesperson 
did not act kindly. The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? What does that have to do with it? What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. I don't know. I'm just not happy. I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. Okay, hold on, Lolly. Wait, wait, Lolly. The inside light is not strong enough. The inside light is not strong enough. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I can see fine when I open the door. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. I'm not sure if we can return it. I'm not sure if we can return it. Okay, good. Let's look at it one more time. And Lolly has a question. I think I know the sentence. Okay, Lolly, is this the sentence? What does that have to do with it? Or, oh, why is that? Oh, okay, why is that? Yeah, okay, so, okay, okay, I, I, I get it, Lolly. I understand your, your question. So, the second part, so, Joe says, I'm not happy with the new fridge. And then, um, Lolly says, can she say, why? Why is that? Y yeah, so, Sue can say, why? But why is that? You want more detail. So, um... Joe says, I'm not happy with the new fridge. Sue can say, why? But then, she, why is that? You want more detail. So if, if someone says, oh, I don't like it, why is that? Oh, I don't like the new restaurant. Why is that? You want, that means you want more information. You want more detail. You want, okay, so I'm not happy with the new refrigerator. Why is that? Oh, the light is not strong enough. The, the salesperson was not kind. The, the light or the, the color is bad, right? I want details. So why is that? You want more, more information. Okay, yeah, so just, if you just said why, it's better, like, why is that you want, it's, it's just, you're asking for more information, right? Because, because Sue's like, she's like, why? Like, she's, she's confused, right? So Sue, Sue is confused. Why do you want to return it, Joe? It's a good refrigerator. Why do you want to return it? So, so Sue is is confused. Sue is wondering why 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 is Joe angry? Why 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 doesn't Joe like the refrigerator? Amy, hello. Okay, good. Let's okay. We we shadowed, right? So let's okay, let's look at let's right here. <laughs> Let, let's look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. Here we go. Joe says, I'm not happy with the new fridge. Why is that? 
The salesperson did not act kindly. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. I'm just not happy. The new refrigerator has plenty of space. The inside light is not strong enough. I can see fine when I open the door. I'm not satisfied. Let's take it back. I'm not sure if we can return it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. That was Lolly's Revenge. Yay! Okay, we did it all. You did it. You did it. Well done. Well, we got one more. Number five. We got one more to do. Our fifth activity is a video and worksheet. <clears throat> Number five. Ten. Very short conversations. Okay? And we're going to watch a video and then do a worksheet. Yeah, we'll do the poll too. That's number six. Thank you, Mary. I won't forget. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and again, everything's on my Patreon. The, the conversations there. And then our next activity. This is a review. And it's a video and worksheet. The, the worksheet is on my Patreon. So right there. Go there and you can, you can download the worksheet and practice on your own or with me together. Okay, let's um, look at the video. No, that's the worksheet. Here's the video right there. Okay, let's make it larger. Okay. Ten very short conversations. This is 14. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna say each sentence three times. Part one, we will say each sentence three times. Part two, we will take turns. We will be the conversation. We will role play together. Okay, here we go. Good work, everyone. Good work, everyone. Good work, everyone. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Good work, everyone. Thank you, boss. What can I get you? What can I get you? What can I get you? A double scoop, please. A double scoop please. A double scoop, please. What can I get you? A double scoop, please. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Really? Not here. Really? Not here. Really? Not here. It's starting to rain. Really? Not here. It must be rush hour. It must be rush hour. It must be rush hour. It must be. It must be. It must be. It must be rush hour. It must be. This is the best tree house. This is the best tree house. This is the best tree house. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. This is the best tree house. Thank you. Do you deliver? Do you deliver? Do you deliver? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do you deliver? Yes, we do. <laughs> this is great coffee. This is great coffee. This is great coffee. I got it online. I got it online. I got it online. This is great coffee. I got it online. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. You like all those peas? Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. <laughs> Lots of pa 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 pa. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Please pass the pepper. Here you are. <laughs> there you go, explore. Do you take milk? Do you take milk? Do you take milk? Just a little, thanks. Just a little, thanks. Just a little, thanks. Do you take milk? Just a little, thanks. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. Don't forget the lights. I won't. Okay, here we go. Now it's your turn. I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And you will go second. You will be the blue sentences. Good work, everyone. What can I get you? It's starting to rain. It must be rush hour. This is the best tree house. Do you deliver? This is great coffee. Please pass the pepper. Do you take milk? Don't forget the lights.
Let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences and I will go second. I will be the blue sentences. Thank you, boss. A double scoop, please. Really? Not here. It must be. Thank you. Oh, okay, Mary. Yes, we do. Same. They mean the same. So which, which one you like, use that one. They mean the same. I got it online. Okay, here you go, explore. Here you are. Just a little, thanks. You're welcome, Mary. I won't. Okay, that was the video. Okay, now let's do the worksheet. Okay, now, now it's your turn to make sentences, all right? So let's do the worksheet. I think there it is. Now, um, with the worksheet, there, so on the top, there's the picture and the, the conversations from the video. Under in the blue box, we have a pattern and example. So the conversation, pattern, com, uh, pattern, example, conversation, pattern, example. And then in the chat, you're going to write sentences based on the pattern. So like, like uh, we did form a sentence, you're going to use the pattern to make a sentence. Use the pattern to make a sentence. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Conversation number one. Good work, everyone. Thank you, boss. Pattern, good. Example, good luck, everyone. Conversation two. What can I get you? A double scoop, please. Pattern, what can I? Example, what can I help you with? Conversation three, it's starting to rain. Really? Not here. Pattern, it's starting to. Example, it's starting to get dark. Conversation four, it must be rush hour. It must be. Pattern, it must be. Example, it must be time to go. Conversation five. This is the best tree house. Thank you. Pattern. This is the best. Example. This is the best song ever. Do you deliver? Yes, we do. Uh, pattern. Do you? Example. Do you repair tires? Okay, I gotta make it a little bit smaller. Okay, there we go. Okay, conversation number seven. 
This is great coffee. I got it online. Pattern. I got it. Example. I got it yesterday. Conversation number eight. <clears throat> Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Please pass the pepper. Here you are. <laughs> Pattern. Please pass the. Example. Please pass the fork. Number nine. Do you take milk? Just a little, thanks. Pattern. Do you take. Example. Do you take sugar? And then number 10. Don't forget the lights. I won't. Pattern. Don't forget. Example. Don't forget your wallet. Okay. Make sentences using the patterns. Pattern one. Good. Pattern two. What can I? Pattern three. It's starting to. Pattern four. It must be. Pattern five. This is the best. Pattern six. Do you. Pattern seven. I got it. Pattern eight. Please pass that. Pattern nine. Do you take. Pattern ten. Don't forget. Yeah, so, so Lolly, I answered, so they mean the same. So here it is, here you are, same. They mean the same. Um, I, like here you are, here it is. So, so okay, you could say a little different. I mean, basically the same. You can say, um, okay, here it is, <laughs> here it is. Um, and then, oh, here you are. So maybe a little different, I guess, yeah. So, oh, please pass the coffee. Here you are. Um, where's the coffee? Here it is. Or you can, so, please pass the, yeah, what, what did, here it is, here you are. What did I say? So, so here you are. Yeah, so I, I guess um, here, here you are, and then um, here it is. So I get, okay, so yeah, so Mary, I'm sorry. Thank you, Lolly. Well, so um, I was thinking different. Okay, here you are. Um, here you go, right? So maybe we say that. Those mean the same. Here, here you are. He, um, here you go. Here you are. Here it is. Or here you, here you go. So, um, here you are. Here you go. Please pass. Please pass the pencil. Please pass the pencil. Here you are. Please pass the pencil. Here you go. Um, where's the pencil? Here it is. <laughs> where's the pencil? Here it is. Uh, where's the marker? Here it is. So a little different. I'm sorry, Mary. Thank you for that, Lolly. That made me think more about it. Okay, let's see your sentences. Nora, be careful. Somebody may be stupid enough to toss it to you. That's a correct sentence, Nora. What, what's your, so, Nora, what are you, what's the situation? So, Nora, <clears throat> Nora, your, your, your sentence is correct, like the grammar. What, what, what's happening? What's the situation, Nora? So give me more, more information, Nora. What's happening? Um, what's the situation?
Alice, mwah. you're welcome, Tetsuro. Okay, Bella, what can I do for you? Good, what can I do for you? Yeah, Mary, I'm sorry for the first time. A little different. Okay, Samuel, it's starting, it's starting to get hot. So you don't want getting hot. It's starting to getting hot. No, no. It's starting to get hot. Sleepwalker, it must, it must be a busy day. Yes, it must be. Helga, it must be fun there. I think so. Let's go. Nice. I like it. Marcos, what can I get you? I'd like a tequila sunrise, please. Yee-hoo. Yeehaw. <laughs> so tequila sunrise is tequila in orange juice. What can I get? Um, Alice, how can I get in? So you're, um, or can I get in? Yes. Uh, yes, please. Uh, Alice, one more time. So what? How can I get in? Maybe it's better to say how. Helga, uh, this is the best ice cream in the world. Are you sure? That's right. It's starting to snow. It's incredible. Samuel, it must be too late. It must. Sleepwalker, this is the best beach I have ever seen. I like it too. Sonia. What can I get you? A cup of coffee, please. Helga, uh, do, you, do you listen to me? Yes, dear. <laughs> okay, Nora, I just like to learn this word toss today, but I weren't sure if my son. Yeah, so toss. So toss is kind of like a throw, you know, so, so toss is kind of like underhand. Throw is like that. Toss, like easy throw. Toss it to me, okay. Toss it to me, okay. Catch. Like, um, for example, can you toss me the pencil? Sure, here you are. Can you toss me the, the, the pillow? Okay. So, good, good. Okay, here's... Here's 10. Uh, stumble. So it depends on it. Like you could stumble in your, your speech. So uh, 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 that's stumbling when you're talking. Uh, 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 stumble. And then when you're walking, you like stumble, you, you, you trip or something like that. It's not smooth. So stumble is not smooth, like either talking or walking or moving, right? Stumble. You're moving or talking. Okay, Tetsuo, can you help me? Sorry, I'm a little busy. Do you help me? Not do. Can. Okay, Helga, I got it yesterday. Oh, your bag is beautiful. Mary, what can I do for you, Samuel? This is the best soccer player. Yes, that's right. Lolly, this is the best teacher online. It's you, Mar. Oh, Lolly, Mwah, you're too kind. Very kind to me. Trolley. What can I get you? A cup of coffee, please. Alice, it's starting to be cold. It's starting to, it's starting to buy some. Okay, okay, so Alice, it's starting to get cold, not be. It's starting to get cold. Let's buy some warm clothes. Let's buy some warm clothes. Helga, please pass the knife. Please be careful. It is sharp. Good. Nora. Uh, like pass the pencil, 
same with toss the pencil. I thought it wasn't a polite word. Well, so so Nora, polite word. It's it that toss. It's not polite to toss. So like for example, Nora, um, please pass the pencil. This is polite. Please pass the pencil. Here you are. <laughs> Here you go. That that's not polite. But if you say, hey, toss me the pencil. Okay. So that yeah, so it's more it's it's more casual between friends, right? Oh good, Marcos. This is great ice cream. I got it by chance. Yeah, so you you didn't know it was going to be great, right? You just took a chance. You said, oh, that looks good. It looks delicious, but you never tried it before. Lolly, do you take sugar? No, thanks. I drink black coffee. Mary, it must be too late for dinner. Okay, Let, let's go. I'm going to... um. I got a timer here. Oh, Lolly, don't forget to like Mark's video. Mwah, Lolly. That's a great sentence. Everyone says Lolly's sentence for number 10. Don't forget to like Mark's lesson right here. Like it, like it, put the like on. Okay, we're going to do two more minutes. I'm going to put the timer on. So write your sentence. Two minutes, and then we're going to do the poll. We'll do the poll in two minutes, everyone. So here we go. Timer is going. So two minutes until the poll. We'll do the poll, the quiz, in two minutes. Write your sentences. Oh, Alice, it must be busy today. Let's do it quickly. Let's do it quickly. Tessa, please pass the eraser. Mary, this is the best way to learn English. I think so. <laughs> Raj, please pass the glass of water. Here you are. Good, Raj. So, um, Tetsuro, please pass the eraser. Um, yes, please. You don't say please. Um, um, here you are. Or here you go. Or sure. Hello, Ray. How are you, Ray? Okay, Tetsuro, do you take milk? Ah, uh, much, please. You would use a lot. So, do you take milk? Yes, a lot, please. Do you take milk? Yes, a lot, please. Do you sell socks? Yes, of course I do. Marcos, don't forget the water. I won't. Or that was Marion. Sorry, Marion. Don't forget the water. I won't. Marcos, don't forget the thumbs up this class. Thank, I won't. Thank you, Marcos. Thumbs, please like the video. That helps. YouTube likes the, when people like videos. Mary, don't forget your wallet when you go shopping. That's what my wife says. <laughs> I, I want to forget my wallet. Okay, that's two minutes. Okay, let's, let's do the poll now. Yes, Mary, my wife says, don't forget your wallet. And I go, I want to forget my wallet. <laughs> I don't want my wallet. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to take my wallet to the shopping mall. Okay, um, there is the worksheet. Here is the worksheet. It's on my Patreon. Help me, support me. Go to Patreon, $5 each month, and you get all the worksheets. You get the dictation cards, everything we do, Lolly's Revenge, Every, uh, which one is different? 
everything is there go to my patreon support me there please and you get everything we do in the live stream class okay here we go it's a quiz let me um turn this off okay in the chat there's a blue box on top of the blue box is the quiz a hundred people voted Mwah. all right a hundred yeah <laughs> thank you so much everyone yeah 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 okay are you ready for the quiz and the sentence goes like this my favorite mm, is the lion my favorite mm, is the lion choose the best word is it bird is it fish is it insect is it mammal which one is the best word one more time <laughs> bird fish insect mammal is the sentence my favorite bird is the lion or my favorite fish is the lion or insect my favorite insect is the lion or mammal my favorite mammal is the lion choose the best word i'm looking at the chat lots of mammals mammal 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 you guys got it that is the word it's mammal <laughs> The, the Lion King, says Marcos. Yeah, Sleepwalker, milk. Mammals produce milk. Yes. Birds come in eggs. Fish come in eggs. Insects come in eggs. But mammals are like babies. Yeah. <laughs> okay lolly has a question mark what is the difference between i left my key in the car i forgot my keys in the car no difference same so that one for sure this one i was <laughs> this one i i i made a mistake that is the same you can say there's two ways you have two choices Ah, uh, I left my key in the car or ah, I forgot my key in the car. So they both mean the same. Helga, there are delicious sweets and cakes named bird's milk. Huh, I didn't know that. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Bird's milk. Okay, good job. Yay, everyone. <laughs> good job. Okay, well, um, look at the clock. We did it. Good timing, everyone. We did it. We did everything. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. I really appreciate that you are here with me. That means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you for that. Raj. Let's see, I didn't see your sentence, Raj. Don't forget to print out Mark's worksheet. Yeah, so Raj, she's she's a member of my patreon so she gets she has this she has all and same with um we also have the, we got three people on my patreon we got raj we got aza and tetsuro so thank you and they're the green team so extra support double support they support me on patreon and they support me on the green team so mm, i really appreciate that yeah so raj your senses don't forget to print out mark's worksheet today or don't forget to print out mark's don't forget to print out today's worksheet 
don't forget to print so you don't say marks today's worksheet no you have two choices you can say raj don't forget to print out mark's worksheet or don't forget to print out today's worksheet two choices there okay thank you so much everyone oh your number 10 sentence oh okay yeah yeah don't forget okay yep that's a good sentence thank you raj Thank you, Matsura. Okay, Mary, I appreciate it. Mwah. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. Samuel, thank you. Okay, good. All right, let's, you know what we do. We always count down. We always count down to saying goodbye. And I always say, smile and be safe stay healthy love and peace Mwah. marco see you later alligator i appreciate that ella explore bg good to see you good to see you so that's an expression see you later alligator after a while crocodile that's actually an old song like a 1950s song see you later alligator after a while crocodile so it's a it's based on a 1950s rock and roll song. See you soon, raccoon. Oh, I like that. I, Sleepwalker, I like it. That's the first time I've seen that. See you soon, raccoon. I like it. See you soon, raccoon. There you go, Raj. Don't forget to print out today's worksheet or don't forget to print out Mark's worksheet. Yes, Raj. I appreciate your kind support. You are very, very kind to me, Raj. Thank you. See you soon, Raccoon. Yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. This time tomorrow. So please come back and see me tomorrow. I will be here and on Friday, but not Saturday. Saturday, I have to take my university students to a community center to help them learn how to teach children so for the next two months i will not be here on saturdays i have university work on saturdays for the next two months but i will be here on tuesdays wednesdays and fridays raccoon is a animal raj raccoon is an animal they have like they have circles around their eyes they kind of look like a big cat. They look like a cat or a small cat, like a house cat and raccoon. <laughs> Someone have an emoji, a raccoon emoji? I'm not sure. Oh, Lolly, thank you. Yeah, Timothy, join the green team right here. Touch this button, <laughs> touch this, and you will see the instructions like Lolly said. Let's make rhymes. Good, Helga. Yeah. Out to the door, dinosaur. <laughs> you guys are good. Out to the door, dinosaur. <laughs> I can't think right now. I can't think. You guys, you guys are doing a great job. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Uh, see you soon, raccoon. Uh, out the door, dinosaur. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, check out my Patreon, everyone. There's lots and lots of worksheets for you. Lots and lots of worksheets for you. Okay, it's time to count down until tomorrow, everyone. Until tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go. Let's count down to saying goodbye until tomorrow. Until Wednesday, tomorrow, 5 p.m. Japan time. I live in Japan. That means Japan time. I'm here at 5 p.m. Japan time. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. I love you. You guys are very kind to me, and I appreciate that. Here we go. Five four, three, two,
one. Okay, see you later, alligator. See you soon, raccoon. <laughs> Out the door, dinosaur. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.